time. And he finally, uh, I was I was always very grateful to him when I get a chance to thank him tonight. He stars in the new movie, My Blue Heaven, which comes out this Friday, August 17th. Brilliant comedian, wild and crazy guy, Steve Martin. <laughs> the fly they're chewing oh. um, I have no recollection of that story <laughs> I never went I never went really? to a nightclub with Johnny I do remember saying you should see this guy he's really funny but I, I never went any place with Johnny I mean you know we went to yeah we went to a couple of islands yeah but, um, you know maybe it wasn't you <laughs> yeah of course it was James Coco of course <laughs> That's I am funny. so I, <laughs> That's funny. That's great. <laughs> you look really well. You really do. I do? Really fantastic. Oh, I am. Uh, and funny I... monologue. Very funny. Just oh, great. Uh... Oh, thanks. I love your suit. Really? You like this suit? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that delivery is so good. <laughs> See. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've ever done the show with you. That's right. And I just want to come back. <laughs> I think you're pursuing the right course. Well, let me ask you about the early stand-up days here where you, where you got started. Right? Well, you did stand-up, I did stand-up, so... Right. But I'm still and standing you, up. Yeah, but you're, you're the host of a major well. thing. But that's rough. Don't you think you're traveling around? Don't you think it's rough? No, it's rough. pretty easy, I guess, once you... Learn how to do it, you get in the groove. I know, but you're in a different place every night in different circumstances. I mean, I played, I played a, uh, a drive-in once. <laughs> and I didn't know it was a drive-in until I got there. And it was a summer vacation spot, and it was a drive-in. They said all the entertainers do it. And you get up, and I did my act, and the, the tradition was if they thought something was funny, they honked. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. So you do your act, and they go honk, honk. <laughs> Did they have to listen to you with the speaker in the car? Yeah, they had the speaker in the car. <laughs> and if there was really funny, you know, the lights and flashlights and honks. Flash you know, when I did Roxanne, it was all comedians right. and, uh, in the movie, and they just had nightmare stories. And I, I remember playing a club in San Francisco, and I used to have to perform to no one. Because the way the club worked had a window on the street. And people walked by and saw, oh, there's entertainment going on. And right. then they'd come in. But I used to have to get on before <laughs> the audience was there. So I'd be out there, good evening. And, and then the people would, the first people right. in would go, oh, right. <laughs> That's a funny laugh. Well, thank you very much for that. Oh, but you know, I was sitting backstage, mm -hmm. and I saw Jim Belushi back there. He's coming on. Right, fine, fine actor. He's very good. And... Oh, they're so fickle. Um, and I said, what are you doing here? And he said, well, I have a movie opening Friday. And I said, so? <laughs> and he said, well, I'm here to talk about it. And I said, you know, that's disgusting. Yeah. I mean, I have a movie opening Friday, right, right. but I'm not out here talking about it. No. <laughs> and, you know, because I think, you know, the public sees entertainers, they always come on these shows, and they're always talking about something, their TV show, mm -hmm. you know, their book, their right. movie, and we come off stupid, because that's the only thing we're ever talking about, our, is ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what I did, I thought, you know I'm right. <laughs> and I went upstairs, and I made a list of some of the important topics of today, hmm. and I wrote out a little uh, one-line response to each one of them, and so I thought maybe you'd read the list. And I'll give my response. All right, sure. Do you I mind think, doing this? Uh, no, I think people I think would love to. Uh, no. I'll put that in there. Okay. I think, I think it'll give the audience a little different perspective on it. Yeah, you see your serious side. Okay, well, these are important issues. Uh, Iraq. What a mess. <laughs> Savings and loan. Now, there's a situation. <laughs> um... 
Abortion. Pass. <laughs> My Blue Heaven. Great film. Great really? Film. really? one the dollar up down who knows what's going to happen <laughs> Liz Taylor you know it drives me crazy that you know the, the press goes on they say yes she's living with Michael Jackson you know but it's insane they can lie the First Amendment doesn't guarantee lie doesn't mean you want to lie about her disgusting <laughs> my blue heaven two thumbs up two thumbs up <laughs> Oh, how about some of the major, some of the major papers? New York Times. Ah, uh, great international news, the best. Mm. Los Angeles Times. Best national news. Mm. USA Today. Best pie graphs. Really, best pie graphs. <laughs> the federal deficit. Best pie graphs. I don't know. I didn't have one for that. No, I didn't have. I didn't have one. I guess for you that. can't cover all subjects. No, no you, you can't. Know. Rainforest. Good album. I don't get it, but it seemed funny at the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My blue heaven. Want to look at a clip? So, <laughs> you, oh, have well. a, you have a clip? This was a terrible idea. What do you think? I know. I thought it was a fine, It's a fine, fine idea. idea. It's an okay idea. It's a fine idea. Well, let me ask you about My Blue Heaven now. You play you a... Have a match? <laughs> you play you a match? Oh, great. Put it in here. Get rid of it. Another good bit down the drain. I didn't like. Who cares? Yeah, the. I guess it probably the bit was all wet. That's why I didn't like there. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Well, I think they sensed that you hurt me. Really? Yeah. 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 Well, you get to go home. I have to show up again next week. Mm. Well, man. Now let's talk about my blue heaven. You think I'll ever show up again? <laughs> Now yeah, you, uh, My Blue Heaven you is play a... play a gangster? I play a, an Italian gangster. Can you believe it? It's so strange. Really? really? No, I, don't, I don't see you. Where are you from? You're not from an Italian... I'm from, uh, I'm from Texas, but I was raised in California. I, I, when you think either one of those separate doesn't make sense, but when you combine them, yes, Italian. Um, yeah. When we, when we show this clip after I do this elaborate setup, right. which is really boring, mm -hmm. you'll notice I have completely different color hair. And that's... Uh, one of the interesting things about it, I think. Really? All right, let's... let's now, let, me, let me just set oh, this up. I'm okay. an Italian hood who's been shipped to a small town in the Federal Witness Program. Rick Moranis plays an FBI agent who uh, is fantastic, who is, um, you know, sent to watch over me, and uh, Joan Cusack plays uh, his sort of love interest, and she's the... Uh, oh, a lot of big stars in District film. Attorney. Yeah, a lot of yeah, big stars. A lot of big, a lot of big, big, big stars. Big. So, let's and take a look. Melanie Mayron is a, Melanie she's a big star. She's good, too. I didn't, uh, I didn't see any of the other stars in that. They were, uh, <laughs> they're behind. Oh, yeah. the, uh, <laughs> no, the, yes, they're in the movie, and they're fantastic in the movie, but it's, this is just my way of keeping them down. Really? <laughs> Why should I come out here with a clip with them in it? Right. When you think about it, put yourself in my position. So it opens when? Uh, the 17th? It opens Friday. Opens Friday. Yeah. Looks good. Closes Saturday. Closes Saturday. <laughs> Mind low heaven. Steve Martin. Be right back. Right after.